there's just so much love on this campus and I feel like because of all of that, it's allowed me to heal and be comfortable talking to you today. Shay Turner was a junior last year when she and her best friend were at the Route 91 Harvest Festival, a subject she's yes. now writing about in her college essay applications. Even when I'm having bad days, hard days, and I'm just so upset and I'm just confused and I just am angry, um, I just remind myself like, God's with me, I'm not alone even if I feel alone. Health teacher and volleyball coach Kristen Thornton was there too. She says this school, focused on faith and prayer, has been vital to helping her heal. They had their students all write down a prayer for me and put it in the jar and to keep on my desk. So days that were hard, I could open the jar and take a prayer out. Things like that you don't get other places. God is still on his throne and we made that clear to these kids. Dr. Stephen Book is the CEO of Faith Lutheran. He says things are a bit different on campus this year. The only way you can get on campus is over there at Wallapai, and again, there's an armed guard waiting for you to talk to you. So we, we kind of took the exterior and tightened that up a little bit. Dr. Book had been considering increasing security on campus before 1 October happened. After the shooting, it just made sense to add three armed security guards. There's your time. And this little girl named Esther. Esther is our comfort dog. Um, that we have now and she's she's been here every day. She's got her own little pen over here and everything. By counselor Dan Bukema's count, 14 Faith Lutheran students, staff or family members were there when the shooting happened, but everyone was affected. At one point I had the Washington Post was, was just interviewing me. I cried in the interview for the Washington Post and I had no idea that I was going to. <laughs> and it was just one of those things where it just it affects you it's a horrible thing no matter what. But they're getting through it together, especially focused on their students suffering from PTSD. It's still hard, I'm telling you, there's some of those kids are rocked. Some of the kids that weren't hit that were there are still, it's getting better. Uh, even the counselors told me this fall, they said it's better. But like you say, we are hammering caliche and they, they just can't take that noise. Noises used to upset Shay Turner too. For Kristen Thornton, it was shelter in place drills that brought that night back. But they both say they're doing really well. I feel like I finally have this sense of acceptance of like, okay, this this happened, my life is different, and I'm gonna live like move on and live to the fullest now that it has changed. Beth Fisher, 13 Action News.